Abbas, I don't know if uh, I wanted to ask a question for some clarification. I don't know if I should go ahead or I have to wait after the meeting. Okay, go ahead before I start. Go ahead and ask the oh, question. Oh, okay, okay. So um, today, uh, today virtually I was free. I wasn't on duty, so I had time and then scalping the market. So I was able to make good profit with the, my little capital. Okay. In fact, I was I was able to make about 150 if I'm not mistaken, closer to $200 oh. profit. Oh, yes. That means you will still recover your losses. You will still recover from your losses. That, my boss, I'm almost re re recovered because <laughs> I decided, <laughs> as I learned the scalping you taught us with uh, RSI, I decided to close that trade in, in, in loss. Okay, so, yeah. yes. So I used uh, $115 to start up in the market and gradually I was making uh, progress. So it was yesterday that I broke through. Yesterday I was able to make uh, $200. So I was having, uh, my capital became $200. Okay. And uh, my, my boss, uh, frankly speaking, today I've been, from, I've been able to move from $200 to $400, $430. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. But one thing I don't and I hope was, you will grow it up to a thousand and above. And that is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. But one thing I noticed, I wanted to clarify. Um, you know, when uh, uh, the profit uh, closes, it clo when the trade closes in profit, let's say it closes uh, with ten dollars, like we made a profit of ten dollars. But you you go to where your the account, like your account, where the life account is. You realize that um, it will not be exactly ten dollars. It's either they did that about uh, two or three dollars from from it. But where it records that uh, your daily profit, where it accumulates, it uh, it records your daily profit. You see the let like, you see the ten dollars exactly there. But on the life account, it's uh, it's lesser than that. I don't know if uh, that is the uh, the eighty percent, and then uh, uh, for you, and then the other twenty percent that they did that. I don't know if uh, that one is it. Um, one thing you should uh, realize is, you know, aside the fact that the board charges you from the money you deposit into it as a gas fee, right? Yes, yes, my boss. You equally pay fee, trading fee on Binance. There is a trading fee you pay on Binance when using Binance. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. There is always okay. a trading fee you pay when using when using Binance. Binance. That, that, okay. Tra okay. that trading fee is actually um more when you don't have BNB. So if you want to be paying lesser trading fee on Binance, then you need to be holding just buy some BNB, maybe like fifty dollars, hundred dollars out of BNB. Okay. Okay. And then transfer, okay. It, transfer it into your officials account, and that way you'll be paying lesser lesser fee on the Binance exchange, okay? That way you'll be paying lesser fee on the Binance exchange. Oh, okay. Okay, my boss, I, I, yes, that's true, that's true. Because I, I, went, to my, I went to my features account and then I, I, I saw like, they were, uh, as you stated, I can equally use um, BNB as uh, my fees. So I didn't get it, but now that you've explained it, I, I've gotten it, I've gotten it. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Thank you. So try to have some BNB on your account and you're good to go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. All right. So now to the business of the day. Okay. Um, I'll just go ahead and now basically what I want to share with you today are just um two indicators, okay, that you can equally use to be making decision in the market. And um, these indicators are beginner friendly. Okay. You can use can you please help me unmute yourselves, okay? Help me unmute yourselves. Um, after the presentation, you can go ahead and unmute yourself and ask your question. If you have to say anything now, then what you can do is to use the chat, okay? Then at the end of the day, I'll give you the option to unmute yourself and you ask your question, okay? So as I said earlier, I'm going to show you two indicators that are beginner friendly, okay? That you can use to equally be making um, um, decision when it comes to trading um, features in the market, okay? 
So to be able to do this, you need a trading view account, all right? Because I, I wouldn't want to do that on the Binance exchange itself. Um, trading view with a free account, you can use it to do all of this, okay? You need a trading view account to actually do this. So with a free account, you can do all of this. If you don't have um, a trading view account, you can use the link in the video, okay? If you are seeing this on YouTube, you can use the, video, the link in the video description. Well, I'll post the link in the chat here, okay, on in the chat section here where you can actually use it to um, sign up for an account. You can sign up for a free account and start using it, all right? So basically, what we are looking at this evening is just two indicators, okay? And we're looking at the super trend indicator, and then we now add um, one moving average um, indicator, okay, to E to help us determine the trend or the direction of the market so that it will help us to you know make um, informed decisions when it comes to trading okay trading features is profitable just like somewhere just shared now um he has been using you know the previous indicators we looked at which is the rsi combined with um the signals that you know prime uh, the super board is giving you um so he has been using RSI combined with, you know, the meta features uh, bot, okay, with the signals, the everything he, he gets from the meta features bot. And that has been working for him, okay? And if you are consistent, once you know that this is working, this is not working, once you are consistent, okay, you will be making, you know, profit. And another thing I will advise is that whenever you make profit in a day, okay, um, you should be disciplined when it comes to trading. You don't, you don't, you, you shouldn't be too emotional because, when you come and say, oh, the market is going in my direction, I have made $50, now I want to make it 100, I want to make it 1,000 in a day. At the end of the day, you see, you notice that you end up losing everything you made, okay? So um, part of being disciplined is that you would say to yourself that, okay, if I open one or two trades that are successful in a day, I am done for that day, no matter how the market is, okay? If I open one or two trades that are not successful today, I am done for that day. All right. If your target is to be making $30, $30 every day or $20 every day or $10 every day, once you hit that target, please close the trade and go rest. Okay. And then tomorrow you re-strategize again. You come to the trade and you go on. Because if you continue to see opportunity in the market and you say, oh, you want to continue trading at the end of the day, out of over excitement and the rest, you end up losing the little money you have even made plus your capital. All right, so you have to be disciplined when it comes to trading features. There is money in trading features, but um, the reason why a lot of persons fail in this field is that um, they don't take our time to learn a lot of things. They don't take our time to understand how the market moves, okay? So the indicator we are going to be looking at today is called super trend. So on my chat here, I'll go on there and type in the super trend indicator, okay? So once I type super trend indicator, you'll see the name of the person, which is the, this given, or Osbilgic, I can't even pronounce that, okay? That is the super trend indicator that I'm using. So I just go ahead and add it up to my chart. And then the next indicator I'm going to be adding is the EME. So if I just type EME here, you just click on this one that says moving average exponential. So click on it to add it up to the chart, okay? So this is what the super indicator does, okay? It is very straightforward. It is, um, it is as just, just as the name implies, the super trend follows the trend of the market in real time, okay? It is a short-term indicator, um, a short-term trend indicator. It follows the trend in real time, okay? So if the trend, uh, if the market is going up, it gives you a buy signal. If it is going down, it gives you a sell signal and the rest, and it continues to go. And you can use this, okay? Without even doing anything on it, you can use this indicator to trade on the five. As you can see, I am on the five minutes time frame. You can trade use it on any of this time frame, whether it is 15 minutes, 30 minutes, or one hour time frame, okay? So to help us make informed decision, if you look at this um, signal here, okay, look at where it gave us a buy signal, and then all of a sudden, um, a reverse signal just appeared. So things like these are false signals. To help us filter out some of these false signals, that is why I added the moving average. So I'll go to the moving average and click on the settings here to edit it. So on the input, I want to make this the 200, Okay, I'll change it to 200 period. And then I'll come to the style, I'll change it to yellow or white, then make it bolder so that I can see it. Okay, this is the only thing I need to do, all right? So this is the um, moving average line here. 
Now, what we use the moving average is to determine the overall trend of the market, whether we are on the one minute time frame, the 15 minutes time frame, whatever trend um, time frame we are. We are going to be using this indicate this uh, moving average to make decisions and then know the type of signals that we are taking from the super trend. Okay, so here, the way we use the moving average is that whenever these candlesticks are trading below this EMA here, whenever the candlesticks are trading below this 200 EMA, we can only take sell signals. We can only take sell signals, okay, in order to help us short the market. Please take note of this. Whenever these candlesticks are trading below this EMA, as you can see here, when they are trading below the EMA, we can only take the signals that are sell, sell signals, okay? We don't take buy signals. So we can only short the market whenever we see an opportunity to do that. We can only short the market whenever we see an opportunity to do that. Then when the candlesticks are trading above the 200 EMA, what do we do? We look, we can only take buy signals, okay? Here you get a buy, okay? You get a buy signal. Whenever you get a buy signal, in as much as the candle is on top of the moving average, okay, you go ahead and take that buy signals. So those are just the little um, um, rules, okay, you need to use to me, me uh, follow up the, the market and take the, 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 the trades, okay? For instance, um, let's say I come in here, this is where we got this buy signal, okay? We got a buy signal somewhere here, and you see that the candlesticks were trading above the 200 moving average um, line here, okay? So if, for instance, I've entered the market here, um, let me bring in my long position too. If, for instance, I entered, let's say um, this, we got this signal somewhere here, and then I entered the market somewhere around here, okay? I would have just followed the trend of the market, okay? I would have gradually followed this trend of the market. Maybe you say you want to make um, take profit when the market increases. This is almost 4%, close to 5%, okay? And then the, the, that particular signal was still moving up, okay? So it was still moving up, up to this level. So if I even push this up to that level that we have there, okay? Let's say I took it down up here. This is almost 12% um, move in the market. And you know what, 12%, depending on the leverage and, and the amount of money you are risking in your trade, okay, depending on your risk tolerance and the rest, you didn't know what this would have been up to you and the rest, okay? So whenever these candlesticks, once again, are trading above this, you only take buy signals, okay? Like this one, we get a sell signal, and then all of a sudden, the candlesticks started trading below. So not you wouldn't have entered this trade. If I was the one, I wouldn't have entered because this was here. Now, one thing you should note is that this moving average at times serves as both support and resistance to the market, okay? At times it serves as support and resistance, just like you saw here that this market dripped down here and then all of a sudden it reversed back, okay? So whenever it breaks through, then you wait. For instance, I would have wait, waited for this market and then take this signal somewhere around here. Okay, this same signal that appeared here, since it continues to go and then it break through this um, line here, I would have waited and taken this signal somewhere around here, okay? And then maybe I would have followed the trend in the market and then take profit somewhere around here, okay? Would have taken profit somewhere around there also. So taking profit somewhere around there, that would have been uh, almost 4% move in the market, okay? It would have made profit there and then it continues that way. Okay, it, it, it was even still going down. So you would have used it, used, um, if you're using Binance, you would have used tra um, trailing stop loss, okay, to actually follow the market and maybe you would have taken profit somewhere down here and the rest, okay? So I said, um, at times this EMA serves as support and resistance, okay? So there's every probability that this market goes up, bounces there, and then it reverses back. But just follow this simple rule. When you are using the super trend indicator and the um, 200 moving average line, okay, you only take short position when these candlesticks are trading below the 200 moving average. And then you take long position when the candlesticks are trading above the 200 moving average, okay? Um, that, that, that means when you see a sell signal you, and the candlesticks are trading below, you go ahead and take that signal. When you see a buy signal and, and the candlestick are trading um, above 
the 200 moving average, then you are good to go to take those signals, okay? Like this one, I saw this signal here, maybe when it appears, the candlestick was still below this, and then when it breaks through, okay, you would have entered the market somewhere around there, and you would have made some profit up there, all right? So this is um, a very simple indicator that you don't need to tweak anything. All you just need to do is to follow the instruction I've told you and you are good to go, okay? So how do you use this indicator? Well, um, how do you get the time or the notification when they, there is a buy signal, when there is a sell signal? That is when alert comes in, okay? Once you set up this on your trading view, the next thing you want to do is to go ahead and set up an alert, okay? So if I come to my trading view somewhere around here, okay, you see this clock icon here by the right, okay, that is my alert icon, okay. So if I want to set up an alert for this indicator, I'll go ahead and click on the alert option, and then it gives me the option to create an alert. So if I click on create an alert, this dialog box, box pops up, okay. Now, what do I want to create the alert for? Okay, it gives me the option to create an alert for because we are on the Bitcoin stuff. So it gives me the option to create the alert for either the BTC or you know, uh, whatever it is, okay? So, but I want to create the alert for this indicator, okay? I'll create the alert for this indicator. So I'll go ahead and instead of doing BTC, I'll click on this and then I'll select the super trend. Okay, you can create the alert for um, the EMA, depending on the number of the indicators you have here, you can create the alert for each of these indicators, but I'm going to do for the super trend. Okay, so once I select the super trend now, it tells us super trend by which alert do you want? Now, when you look at the overall trend and see that the candlesticks are trading above, okay, you can set alert for only buy signals. Okay, and whenever there is a buy signal that is appearing, this um, trading view will, will notify you via email, via your app, okay. Uh, and so on. Or even if, if, your, if your chat is still open on your laptop, it will equally notify you via the, the chat. Okay, you'll get a beep ringing or something like that. Okay, so um, we can do for buy. Okay, we can do for the super trend direction change. We can do for sell alone. Okay, so I prefer to do for the super trend direction change. Okay, I prefer to do for the direction change. And then here, you want to do it once. If I over over it, you see that the alert will only trigger once and will not be repeated. Okay, then you have uh, one once per bar. Okay, this alert will trigger every time the um, condition is met, but not more than one minute per bar, and so on. Then you have once per bar close. Okay, so this will trigger every time the condition is met at back close and then you have this other one this will trigger every time the condition is met but not more than one time per minute okay so i either use this option or this option okay any of this you want you go ahead and use it and then if you want it to expire if you want to to expire so some certain day let's say i just want to trade for today alone okay i can just say it should expire today maybe by the end of today you put in the time here select the date you put in the time there and then go on um with the other settings okay okay so um then you come in here if i don't want the okay this feature i will not be able to use it because i'm using a free account okay if not i would have clicked on the open ended but i can't use that okay so alert actions what do you want notify you on the app if you have the trading view app on your phone you'll get notification there show pop up okay here on the trading view once i'm here once i'm opened on the laptop it will show pop up okay send email so these are the three that i'm using it will show pop up it will send email and then send you notification on the app okay so you come in here and name the the, the alert all right and then the message will say what do you want uh, the alert to tell you you can say super trend has changed direction okay or i'll, I'll just say um um, I can just come in here and say, hey, Leonard, okay, your, for instance, super trend, um, then I'll just add indicator has changed direction or something like that, okay? Just go ahead and do that and then title it. Once you title it, you go ahead and click on create um, alert, okay? You just go ahead and create the alert. And when that time comes, you'll see it beeping and notifying you that, oh, there is a change direction, there is a change in direction of your market or your indicator and the rest and so on, 
okay? So that way, even when you are not there, once you are with your phone, you can get the notification via email or get it via the app, or if you are on the chat, looking at the chat, or if your laptop or desktop is open somewhere, you just get the notification and then you can come and look at the market. If you are satisfied with it, you go ahead and take the trade, okay? So I, I believe you should know how to go to Binance and then open a long position or a short position. I believe you know that if you, have no, if you don't know any of that, then see my Binance features trading tutorial. I think I did one for desktop version. I did one for the mobile app version. So go and check out those videos and it will be helpful to you, okay? And that is the basic thing you need to know so that whenever, because in, there are different indicators. There are no simple, like it's a, a one direction of trading features. Okay, but if you try out some of these different um, strategies we are sharing with you and anyone works for you, go ahead and continue to use it. Okay, when you try it and it works for you, go ahead and continue using it, all right? So that is just what I wanted to share with you this evening. I will now pause here for a moment and um, take your questions.